Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. In this section, we will talk about the success stories of some of the most accomplished African entrepreneurs. There is an abundance of amazing business opportunities in Africa and our goal is to inspire you in your own entrepreneurial journey. But before we start, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to click the bell icon to be notified for future videos. In today's video, we are going to talk about Emmanuel Kataongole, a Ugandan-born entrepreneur, businessman, economist, statistician, and industrialist who is the co-founder and executive chairman of Quality Chemicals Limited, the first and only company in the region of Sub-Saharan Africa that is authorized to manufacture triple combination antiretroviral grade drugs, including the anti-malarial drug Lumartem, which contains artemisinin and lumifantrin, and the hepatitis B generic medicines Taxavir and Zentair. Kataongole was born in 1962 in Uganda. He got his secondary education from Namiliango College and later got his bachelor's degree in statistics from Makarere University, both from his home country. He also got his Master's of Arts in Economic Policy and Planning from the same university. Over the years, he has also attended various short-term courses from a myriad of institutions from all over Uganda and Europe. He started his career in 1986 working for Sembule Electronics Limited, where he worked as a sales officer but worked his way up to the post of general manager. In 1997, he started Quality Chemicals Limited alongside Randall Tyerney, Francis X. Kitaka, Frederick Mutebe Kitaka, and George Baguma with an initial capital of $30,000. The initial purpose of the company was to improve generic drugs and distribution across the region. They first began to import generic veterinary and human pharmaceuticals from India. In 2007, they expanded their operations by establishing a pharmaceutical manufacturing plant with the help of Indian drug manufacturer Silpa, and the joint venture was named as Quality Chemicals Industries Limited. This project aided the availability of medicine by producing antiretroviral and antimalarial tablets in Uganda, thus making it more easy and readily available at affordable rates. Kataongole was managing director and chief executive officer as well as a shareholder from 1997 until 2007. After the merger deal with Silpa, he worked as the chief executive officer of QCIL from 2007 until 2013. In 2013, Silpa took hold of majority of shares, renamed the company CILPA QCIL, and appointed Kataongole the executive chairman of the company. He remained a shareholder in the business. As of 2012, QCIL was at a net worth of approximately $120 million. As of 2021, Kataongole had a net worth of an estimated $2.87 million from just his CILPA QCIL shares. Kataongole did not limit himself to only one project though. Instead, he branched out and now also owns a majority interest in Vero Food Industries Limited and Tinosoft Limited, an IT company in Kampala. In 2014, he was appointed chairman of the Uganda National Oil Company. He also serves as chairman of the advisory board of London-based TLG Capital. He is a member of the Initiative for Global Development, IGD, Frontier 100, a group that joins the most successful business leaders operating in frontier markets with business leaders from Europe and the United States. He has previously served as Governor Rotary International in charge of East Africa. On top of several entrepreneurship awards that he has earned, Emmanuel was inducted in the prestigious Ernst & Young World Entrepreneur of the Year Hall of Fame in Monte Carlo, Monaco in 2013. Do you have a niche business in mind that you want to try a hand at? Click the link below to sign up for our crash course in digital marketing to start a lucrative business of your own. 
have a good day. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. See you with the next video. Until then, keep smiling.